So hello, everybody. My name is Hannah Fong. I work with the Alzheimer's Society of PEI. I am a support services coordinator here in Charlottetown. I focus on Queens County. And I also am the coordinator of our volunteer companion program. So today I will just be giving you a quick overview of the services that we offer here at the Alzheimer's Society and talk a bit more about becoming a volunteer companion. Our mission here at the Alzheimer's Society of PEI is to alleviate the personal and social consequences of Alzheimer's disease and other dementias, as well as to promote uh, the search for a cause and a cure. We offer a range of programs and services to support individuals living with dementia, their families, and their care partners. Um, here is a list of all of the ones that we offer. Our first link program is mainly our biggest program. It comprises of the most components. And this is a referral program designed to connect individuals diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or other dementias, as well as their families and care partners to our programs and services. And at that point, we help support them from the point of diagnosis through progression of disease. And we, through this, we provide the one-on-one -on -one counseling, family support, can connect them to support groups and other community resources as well um, to really help support them through that journey. We also have a Wellness Connect and Care program that's open to all seniors. We do have volunteers who help lead that. And this provides experiences of healthy, active living, social connection, engaging activities, and health and wellness education. Our support groups are facilitated by staff members, but they are across the province in Charlottetown, Summerside, O'Leary, and Montague. We also offer support groups for um, persons living with either mild cognitive impairment or early stage dementia, and a specialized support group for caregivers of an individual who has been diagnosed with young onset dementia. We do often look for volunteers in our many areas of work that can be either helping with admin processes, kind of organizing um, some of the wellness connecting care programming. Um, also our annual walk for Alzheimer's, which often occurs in May. Right now, our biggest need for volunteers is within our volunteer companion program. This volunteer companion program is a one on one visiting program for individuals living with Alzheimer's disease or another dementia, and they are matched with a volunteer companion. The visits are really intended to provide socialization and meaningful activity to the individual while also giving respite or a break um, to their caregiver. So this one hour often um, allows their caregiver to go out and do errands or go to appointments that they meet, may need to go to. Um, visits often take place in the person living with dementia's home. And we ask that the visits be about an hour per week and that the volunteer can commit to at least six months of visiting. For dementia, there are many risk factors on their own, risk factors are not a cause for the disease, but they do represent an increased chance um, that, it, that dementia will develop. Some risk factors are modifiable, which means that they can be changed. And it is estimated that of around 40% of dementia cases are a result of these 12 risk factors. These include high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, obesity, lack of physical activity, poor diet, high alcohol consumption, low levels of cognitive stimulation, depression, traumatic brain injury, hearing loss, air pollution, and finally, social isolation. 
Social isolation is really the target of the volunteer companion program um, because we aim to provide our participants with that social stimulation and enjoyable socialization. It has been noted that socialization may help slow down the progression of the disease in individuals who have already developed some form of a dementia. We do aim to provide this socialization to volunteer companion program participants through an array of activities. Um, because of the progressive nature of the disease, we have participants in all different stages of disease progression and with varying abilities. Because of this, and also different interests of participants and different interests of our volunteer companion volunteers, um, we have volunteers who may visit their match and they may just choose to chat or storytell, listen to music or reminisce, um, while others prefer to play games and enjoy doing crafts, going for walks or participating in other hobbies. So it is really kind of case by case and you and your match can really choose what activities you choose to do during your time. The benefits to volunteer companions are equal to those provided to the participant. Um, we really believe that these benefits include building a new friendship, learning from and about each other, feeling a sense of achievement by improving the quality of life for a person living with dementia, giving back to the community by belonging to something meaningful and enhancing personal enhancing personal growth and skill development. If you do wish to access more information on the Volunteer Companion Program and to access the online application, you can scan this QR code and it will take you to that page on our website. This is just kind of an overview of what our application looks like for a volunteer companion. Um, we ask questions such as, do you have any experience interacting with or working with a person living with dementia? By no means is any experience necessary. We do provide training that you complete before you start visits to make sure that you're comfortable and have any questions or concerns answered before starting those visits. But this information does just kind of help us and give us a guideline on how comfortable you are um, and will help us inform what match and who we can match you with as a participant. Um, other questions include what your hobbies and interests are. And once again, um, we just use this information to help match volunteers with participants who have similar likes and interests so that um, it's easier to maybe decide on what activities you, mo you both will enjoy during those visits. We do understand and appreciate the commitment of all of our volunteers to making a difference in the lives of persons living with dementia and their care partners. If you do have any questions, um, we kind of have lots of things going on all the time. So we have a newsletter that you can subscribe to on our website. Um, there is our phone number and our email there. So if you do have any questions that come up to you, you after this session, then just feel free to either give us a call or send us an email. Thank you.